and merhaba. We are, as usual, so excited to be here. I'm always going to be excited. Uh, well, this is my husband, Tony Hill, and I'm Karen Hill, and we host together. And yes. today, as you see, we are in fitness clothes. Mm -hmm. um, what it is is, uh, this is our ministry, health, fitness, nutrition. We do feed our spirit and soul. But we also have to take care of the vehicle that carries the spirit and soul. So you can be also uh, excited to do things for God and you have a mission and you have a passion and you want to jump up and down and you want to run around. But if this vehicle is tired, sick, depressed, you cannot do your job on this earth. So this is what we're concentrating on. I do have a main um, scripture, which I write down. I'm not good at memorizing. I'm so sorry. But then I always have a side scripture. But the main scripture I go with and Tony goes with is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. Or do you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. For you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. My second scripture is 1 Corinthians 10.31. So whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So today <laughs> uh, we are going to talk about whatever you do. <laughs> with this body, which is going to be, uh, my version would be the exercise part. Right. But I want to just um, tell you a few things. And then Tony, which is anointed and gifted on the physical body, on the outside, the uh, uh, fitness mechanics, everything. He will be talking, of course, because if you let me, I'll talk all day long. But anyway, but um, now... Your, what you eat is really important, the fuel. We always say, okay, you know what, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to exercise, but I can eat whatever I want. That doesn't go like this. 70% of what you look like is what you eat. 30% is exercise. But listen, if you eat correctly, then the 30% is going to give you a hundred percent result. Like you have a, uh, like you have a speed car, ha needs special gas to perform. But you say, you know what? I don't have enough money. I'm just going to put cheap gas and all that stuff. And you expect that car to perform to the max, but it's not going to. And that's just the car. Our body, God made. It is so amazing. So we have to give the right fuel. That's number one. The second thing is, uh, correct me, please, if I'm wrong. You're not Because wrong. this is your uh, you're gonna, specialty. You're not going to bait me into that. No, <laughs> not today. No, you're right. <laughs> Already I'm right. <laughs> but anyway, um, the exercise is very basic, actually. Nowadays, we have millions of different exercises or style of exercises. But if you look at the foundation, it's all the same. Just think this way. Whatever you're doing has to imitate real life, meaning whatever exercises you're doing has to get you ready for real life, get you stronger for real life. So if you're doing weird stuff, and you don't do that in the real life, that's kind of useless. And second thing is important that now uh, Tony is going to explain and show everything, that it can be the most basic exercise, but you do it correctly, then it's going to give you the benefit. But if you do it wrong, you can injure yourself and you don't get the benefit from it. And last, I'm going to stop talking, is your body is your tool. 
You don't need to go to the gym. You don't need to pay a trainer. You don't need to do anything because your, your body is your tool. And I believe that as a former military person and yeah. law enforcement, yeah. he will mm -hmm. probably, right, in military, you work your body. Your, yeah, okay, go ahead. Well, Take it I, over. No, this is I, it no, for me. <laughs> I know. It's not. No. You know, in the, in the military, you, you know, people, um, they... Uh, you ever heard the story, you know, when I was in the military, you know, I actually, for six weeks, we worked out, we did calisthenics and everything, and then, boy, when I got finished, I was in best shape. And then after you get into the military, after a while, what happened is, is that shape begins to deteriorate because the lifestyle that you did for that six weeks or eight weeks of boot camp training is no longer available. Uh, the military has the secret. And what it is is that the cadence that they utilize in the, in the programs actually block out your inability to complete the task that's set before you. For example, they're not gonna, if they even told you you're going to do 100 push-ups, you're not thinking about the 100, you're thinking about the cadence. So it's just replacing one thing after another. And when Karen talks about how, you know, if it's not natural for the body, it doesn't work, if the exercises and even the food that you're consuming does not meet uh, and it's not natural, then it's not going to work. It's not going to last. Exercise is designed and built for longevity, not to keep going back and forth and back and forth. Um, so, for example, there's another thing that people do is uh, they call it spinning. Now, spinning is, I tell people say, Tony, is spinning bad? I say, well, um, I'm not going to tell you whether it's bad or good, because usually they're trying to figure out whether I'm a pro or a con at spinning. But spinning, for example, in this one case is, if you can't ride that bike like that naturally, then what is it going to benefit you going at uh, an RPM rotation of 80 to 100 RPMs like this, and up and down, and bouncing and bouncing, and all this other stuff? Uh, because what happens is you end up with most most people who spin actually have neck injuries, shoulder injuries, lower back injuries, and, and, and really bad knees, especially in your meniscus area. So you have to always remember that if you're going to do anything, you must be natural. You must look at the body in its natural state, and you have to respect it. So in my nine years in the military uh, and then going to other academies, they always start with the basic stuff. So what I'm going to demonstrate, uh, you know. Ooh, <laughs> I'll watch. Here you go. <laughs> no, I'm just going to explain. Maybe I'll just well, be the uh, lady. Well, what we <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do actually is this is a part of the show where we actually get, you know, we kind of uh, get involved with the audience. We're going to have something on the screen where you can actually uh, at, give us questions and everything. And every time we come every week. We're going to try to address those questions. And then there's going to be also opportunities where we're going to have a live uh, Q&A. And also we're going to have an audience at some point inside the studio where these questions and those calls that come in, we can actually answer them because we truly care about you and your change and you being able to weather what the society is faced with, with the uh, the the food and all this other stuff that's changing every day. So what I want to do is I want to say to you that I'm going to give you four exercises, okay? Four exercises that you can do with your body. These four exercises, what I want you to do is to be able to do four sets of them, but I want you to start off with the number 10. Don't change that. But four exercises... I only want you to do 10. Now, I'm going to show you the basic fundamentals on how these exercises work so you won't uh, misunderstand. And you have to do them exactly like you see today. Nothing different, okay? So if, in fact, you complete this task, we want to hear from you, okay? We want to hear from you. If you want to send us video, send it uh, to our, our website, which is... Uh, or actually to Facebook. Oh, you can send it to Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, Cross, Facebook is Cross TV, Cross TV Network, Network. And we have it on the screen that they right. can actually write their mm -hmm. questions, tell their stories. Yes. I have a lot of letters that I'm going to be reading. Yes. And uh, questions we're going to answer. This could be actually yes. questions on kids, 
ladies, pregnancy, pre and postnatal, uh, family, type 1 diabetes, they, all the diseases you can cancer, think of, like cancer, that. diabetes, hypertension, men problem. Uh, oh yeah, I'm an expert in that. That's right, you're an expert in that, men problem, <laughs> and husband and wife yeah. issues. We will talk about that because that's real world, real life. Yes. And um, so we want to be able to actively help you, not just lecture you, but really help you and get the message out because I believe that you need to be strong in the mind, strong in the body, and take responsibility. Right, right. Don't let other people tell you what the norm is because the fact that if you go by the norm, it's change. You think what's normal now, actually it's not. It's not normal to get sick. So when you are strong, and when you're strong in the mind, strong in the body, strong in God, strong in spirit, you are not controlled by other people. And here's Tony. <laughs> you have to, I, you. I have to do that. <laughs> this is not scripted. It's never scripted. Maybe, maybe the Lord is just telling her when to switch it. Switch it. Anyway, switch it. Um, also to add to that, we're going to have... Uh, uh, people come and they're going to be able to talk to us. We want live stories, yes. real people, yes. real talk, real change. Okay, those are the things we're going to talk about in the near future. So, in the meantime, okay, let's. Here's Tony. <laughs> <laughs> we'll exercise. Come and show us something. Okay, so keep in mind when you start doing these exercises, what I want you to focus on, I want you to focus on not quitting, okay? Throughout the duration of these exercises, these four exercises, you're going to only rest in the transition to the next exercise, okay? So that means when you do 10, you know, you change to the next exercise, that's your break. Do not walk away, grab a cup of coffee, drink some water, have a conversation, answer the phone, you know how you guys do it, um, and then go back to the exercise. Or when it gets tough, remember that the lactic acid in the muscle is what creates that burn, that burning feeling. When that lactic acid actually comes to a head, the question that you're faced with is, should you stop? Should you stop momentarily and then continue? Or should you just stop altogether? Well, usually in the beginning, you wanna stop momentarily for approximately 10 to 15 seconds until it comes down. Immediately after you stop, the lactic acid begins to drop really fast, okay? And what happens is this is why you see people who will do an exercise, then they'll rest for a while, and then they'll do the same thing again. That's because it goes here, and it drops. And it goes here, and all you're doing is you're creating a yo-yo effect in your results. So the, the key is to keep that blood in that muscle, that lactic acid, peak as long as you can, and that determines the muscle's ability to burn the fat properly okay that's what you want to get to okay so in the so, beginning so we're going to stand up and you will stand up I yeah know. i'm standing up <laughs> she, she's gonna whoosh. okay I'm enjoying this anyway yeah you are huh so what we're going to do is the first exercise is which is very common which is very common out there is what we do is called the squat, okay? Now in the squat exercise, you'll notice that my feet are a little bit shoulder, shoulder width in my shoulders, okay? Not too wide, just about right to here where it's comfortable. Remember, we're talking about natural movement, okay? Nothing unnatural. If your legs are extremely wide, you're locking your pelvis and you can't really get the squat that you need, okay? So what most people do is they actually when their legs are too wide, they're leaning this way, okay? And this, this creates a problem, okay? Because you're not getting to the, the problem, the issues. The issues are the, the, remember the quadriceps is four muscles here. We want to get not only here, but we want to get back here as well. So you want to utilize this muscle in the effective squat. So shoulders width apart, your head up. I usually tell people put their hands across their shoulders and sit this way. Okay, now you want to sit there. This is the perfect squat because what you're doing is you're using your glute muscle to push up. Now you notice that some people will go like this here. Now as soon as this go up first, you already, you're on the knee. You're not on the butt, which is the biggest muscle, okay? And you squeeze coming up. 
That's the exercise number one. So you want to do 10 of those. The next exercise, which is very common, a common mistake is the push-up. Now there's two types, modified and regular. There's no such thing as a male and female push-up. <laughs> Just thought I'd make that clear. <laughs> okay, so, because uh, <laughs> my wife sometimes, she goes, hey honey, why don't you have them do women push-ups? You know, there's a group of guys down there, they don't take that too kindly. Okay, <laughs> so there's a modified and a regular push-up, okay? Modification, knees on the ground. Now, the knee, you should not be on your kneecap, but you should be on the fatty part of the knee. How you do that is you bring those arms out. Remember, if those hands are too close, you're going to bring the elbows here. You see my elbows? If those hands are wider, you, they now can go out. Now see, you see how my elbow's bent. This bent at that 90 degree angle right here, boom. Push up here, that's the wide angle. Bring them in a little bit closer. Always make sure your hands are parallel to the chest. Come up this way, this is the modification. Push this way. Don't do this. See here, that's a no-no, okay? Some people will rotate their elbow. That's also a no-no. You have to actually make it parallel to your chest, push this way, and back down. Always reassess and readjust your hand position because sometimes you'll end up this way and you'll look like that. You see your shoulders are at an angle. That means you're using your anterior deltoid, your pectoral muscle, your chest is no longer involved in the movement. So keep in mind, lay down first, leg up, make your hands parallel to the chest, push this way. The next one here, number three, you work today. I know, that's okay. Oh, and I'm watching. This is awesome. It's a crunch. Okay, now, you notice that my back, my lower back is flat. Flat on the ground. If my legs fall here, then my lower back bends. You can't see it on here, but it's this way. You don't want it that way. You want it flat. You bring those knees in. If you do it correctly, you will immediately feel the ab contracted in this position by itself. You keep the heels, make sure the heels are as close to the butt as you can, not here. You want them just to hang. Put your hand right here on the top of your head, never on the back of your head, pulling on your neck. That's a no-no. You have your vertebrae back there. When you pull on your neck, they go this way. You have disc in here and nerves. If you pull here, you pinch your nerve here, you're done, okay? So you wanna be here, bring your hands here. You wanna reach for the top of the knee. This is the key, not here. Reach for the top of the knee. That pushes the lower back into the ground. Huh. And exhale, and exhale, and exhale here. Okay, now the next exercise, number four. All right? Interlace your hands behind your head like so. Just like that, rest your head in there, okay? Rest it, don't pull, just rest. Bring this leg up here, just like so. Just turn down and here and down and here and down and here and down now when you turn what you're doing is i don't want you to have to worry about this okay if you're going to do that open your hands don't keep them interlaced behind your head to feel like that okay extend them and touch and down and touch just like that and touch okay all right now those exercises, if you do them, four exercises, 10 reps, four sets for the rest of this week, I want you to try that. When you do that, I want to hear how you felt, I want to hear what you did, and especially I want to hear I've completed it, and I want to hear ex how excited you are and how, much you, how, how great you feel about what you did, okay? but I want you to be safe about it. If you have any questions about anything we've done, please uh, talk to us on Facebook. We want your videos, we want everything. Back to you, honey. Woo -hoo! And I was just about to say, can I say something, please? <laughs> you are so awesome. We are so in tune. 20 years, 20 years of marriage, uh, 20 years of working together, 24 seven together. He is my best friend and he's my partner. I mean, he's just, he's the one that led me to the Lord. So, hey, 
what can I ask more? A um, couple things. Um, there are people, I, I, I will actually stand up now. I am allowed. What it is is if you want to make sure that you're doing it right, uh, uh, with your permission to show a couple oh, you things. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Use a, a chair if you want to make sure that you're doing it right so that you can sit yeah. and get up and never lock your knees. That is the most important thing because sometimes people think, hey, you know what, I'm going to sit, but they go, oh, I'm sitting like this. You don't sit like this on a chair. So you need to sit and stand up and sit and stand up. <laughs> so it's like sitting this way. So this is what I would say <laughs> if you have any knee problems, if you have, you're not sure if you're doing it right. Uh, am I right? Yes. Also, husbands, if you ever want your wife to be nice, have a camera. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding because she's so nice on, right here in the show. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I'm come kidding. on. <laughs> uh, okay. <All> right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, the thing is, the most important thing is to apply every situation correctly. You don't have to, if you cannot do 10, it's okay, right? No. No, do, it's not. Do 10. 10. Do 10. And the burn feeling, legs are always going to burn. There are certain muscles that burns more than the other one, but it doesn't mean you stop. And also that is why, and I'm, this is my little joke thing, um, that is why men usually do not like to do legs, but women love to do legs because we <laughs> can take pain so much better. Really? That is right. I know. But the thing is, <laughs> um, when you... <laughs> When you want to do exercise and you want to uh, have an exercise in your lifestyle, you can't just exercise but not sleep well, not eat well. Then the exercise starts becoming your enemy and you will start getting injured. So that is why I would suggest that your food has to be correct and your sleep has to be correct because that's when you repair from exercise. And please, another tip is do not exercise when you are sick or getting sick. Trust me. You know, the belief you say, hey, you know what, I'm going to sweat and I'm going to get rid of the toxins. No, that doesn't work that way during exercise. Go sit in a sauna if that's what you want to do. But with activity and Yes. Uh, oh, listening. okay. Am I supposed to be done? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, come on. You're no, do you want to add anything? No, no, no. Just, I'm, you know, I just want you to share what you have to say. I love, lo I love watching you speak. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. Just your facial expression, your hair moves around. Oh, okay. I don't have that issue with my hair moving around. That's right. <laughs> But um, because we uh, lived in Turkey for seven years, and I am from Istanbul, Turkey, um, we've been always on TV, and he never understood what I was saying because it was in Turkish. Mm. So that is why he is um, just yeah. now hears and understands what I'm saying. But please, uh, write your questions, write your stories on the Facebook page that it's on the screen. We would love to hear from you, yes. really. Yes, yes. And also, hey, next time, we're going to have something really great for you. So tune in next week. Okay? That's right. All right. Thank you so much for being with us today. God bless you and take care of you.